Hi there, students. The Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect. Okay, this is a phenomenon where a large number of people independently have the same false memory. Okay, let's see. This comes from the... Th this was first coined by a researcher. I think she's a... Um, a, um, a paranormal researcher called Fiona Broom and um, she discovered that there are lots and lots of people that think that Nelson Mandela died in Robin Island prison um, which is actually not true um, he didn't die in Robin Island prison he was released he became president of South Africa and I don't know when he died but he died uh, so, uh, so, some years ago and uh, this is the Mandela effect um, so he didn't die in the 1980s in Robin Island prison um, he was released um, and this is called the Mandela effect because there are uh, lots of people who believe that he, he died in prison. There are many, many other examples of this where people um, believe, believe other things that are not, not true. Um, personally, I think this is rather like um, Mondegreens. A Mondegreen is where you um, sing the words to a song, but you actually sing the wrong words to the song, believing they are the right ones. Um, and um, the idea of this, or the, um, the pe um, some people claim that this is evidence for parallel universes. So there's a parallel universe in which Nelson Mandela did die in prison, and there's a parallel universe where he was released and went on to became become uh, president of South Africa. Okay, so this is the um, Mandela effect. There are various different um, exa examples of it. Um, so, yeah, if, um, if various people remember something, but it's clearly wrong, then this is the Mandela effect. Yeah, um, this has always been like this, and maybe all of you remember this differently, but this is a case of the Mandela effect. Okay, so Mandela effect, a large number of people independently uh, sharing a memory that, that's not a real memory. Yeah, um, okay, so... Um, why, why does it happen? This, this, this is a, 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 good, a good question and clearly it's something to do with the way that we remember things and th this is um, an example of false memory. Maybe somebody, somebody says it to you and you uh, remember something, di something differently. Um, there is also actually a movie called the um, Mandela Effect. Um, where I, I think it's a science fiction movie where um, uh, there's a man who's worried about all sorts of people remembering uh, different different things in in different in different ways, um, and uh, I I, th I think he go he goes to parallel universes to 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 do it. But well, anyway, the Mandela effect. A, a group of people all saying this is true when it's clearly not. Um, so what? Yeah. Um, formality, Mandela effect. I think I'm going to give this a six in formality. Use it in an informal conversation. Yeah. Semi-formal or formal or, or semi-formal spoken or written, and in a formal uh, writing as well. Um, and the origin, well, from Nelson Mandela, which is why you need to write it with a capital M at least. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon.
bye for now, the Mandela Effect.